Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today as promised we're going to talk about my favorite iPad accessories for maximizing productivity and your workflow using your iPad. Starting with the Apple Pencil. If you have an iPad model that's compatible with one of the pencils, I think it's worth investing in because it gives you the ability to use your iPad to maximum potential in a variety of situations. Yes, it gives you the ability to write and draw directly into your iPad. Now, I am not an artist, so I'm not drawing and sketching with the iPad, but I use the pencil to take handwritten notes and a digital plan. So if you're someone who does like to write notes by hand, then the Apple Pencil is definitely going to change how you use your iPad, and it's going to take it to the next level for you. Next up is a magnetic paper feel screen protector. Did you even know they made magnetic removable screen protectors for the iPad? This is a really awesome screen protector because it gives you like the best of all worlds. You're getting the protection, you're able to remove it and clean it very easily. And with the paper feel, you have that added texture so that when you are drawing and writing on the iPad, it feels a little bit more like paper. Does it feel exactly like paper? No, but is it pretty close? Yeah, not bad. My next favorite accessory is a folio case. This is my favorite style of case for the iPad because it turns your iPad into a book. I know a lot of brands sell folio cases, so they aren't incredibly unique, but I like this version that has a complete bumper around the iPad and a slot for the Apple Pencil. Not all folio cases have that feature. So I love a good folio case because you can actually use your iPad three ways. You can use it like a book, which is great for reading and writing and scrolling. You can use the iPad in what I call display mode, which is great for like watching videos or using the iPad like a second screen on your desk. And the third way is in a low incline mode. That makes it easier to actually write and type directly onto the device by hand. So it's one case, but it does a lot to add to the functionality of your iPad. And they're incredibly affordable. The final three accessories I want to share with you today are three different keyboard cases that turn your iPad into more of a laptop. If you work from your iPad or you want to increase the functionality of the device, a keyboard case with a trackpad is going to be a game changer for you. So I ended up purchasing three versions to test out for myself because I wasn't sure exactly which one I would prefer. And this way we can compare the models and help you decide which case would be better for you. First up is the dupe for Apple's Magic Keyboard. Some of you may be shocked that I didn't just buy Apple's Magic Keyboard, but it's very pricey and I don't actually think it's as full functioned as it should be. So I decided to buy the dupe from Amazon that was about a third of the price of Apple's version. This design is almost exactly the Magic Keyboard with the floating display and the magnetic mount, but it includes an extra row of function keys that are super useful to have and really are missing from Apple's version. And the LED backlit display for the keyboard on this dupe actually gives you the ability to like cycle through different backlit colors, which is really awesome and gives you an extra sense of, you know, personalization on the device. One thing you have to know about the Apple keyboard though, and of course with this dupe as well, is that it's really meant for working at a desk or on like a hard surface. So you can't really sit this setup on your lap and work because the floating display element is too top heavy. But this dupe comes in a bunch of different colors. It's got the black, it's got the white, just like Apple. And there were a few more I saw on the site that keep going in and out of stock. It has a great battery life, and I don't even care that I'm not getting the pass-through charging that Apple's Magic Keyboard has, because that means that my iPad battery isn't powering the keyboard. So I get better battery life on my device using this external keyboard with its own external battery source. So I think this is a wonderful option for anyone who likes the Magic Keyboard but doesn't like the price, this is actually, in my opinion, more functional. 
So next up is this R-Tech laptop style iPad keyboard case that really takes the idea of iPad as a laptop to the next level. It has more of the traditional laptop styling with a hinge design as opposed to the Magic Keyboard's floating monitor. So you will be able to use this case in your lap as an actual laptop if you want to. Now, some points of difference with this case, there's no magnetic mount, so you do have to pop your iPad in and out, which isn't as easy as the Magic Keyboard, but it's not as bad to, when you factor in that, again, this case is maybe a fourth of the price of the Apple Keyboard. I think I paid like $50 for it. It has the full keyboard with a function row, a nice size trackpad that does accept multi-touch gestures. Although a note about this keyboard is that it does not have an LED backlight. So that's cutting a little bit of corners there, but this case does have, you know, a surprise up its sleeve. You can actually remove the iPad monitor portion from the keyboard. So it's more like a two in one cover and keyboard case. And because the iPad is like connected by this magnetic hinge to the keyboard portion, you can actually flip the screen so that it folds down compact and even put the case into like a tent shape to watch videos or use the device as a second screen as well. So this option definitely saves you money and gives you many options for how you can use and display your iPad without having to buy multiple different stands for it. The final keyboard case I want to show you is the Bridge Max Plus. So this case is pretty much my favorite of all the keyboard cases. It looks exactly like a MacBook. If Apple had actually made a laptop style case for the iPad, I assume that this is what it would look like, right? It actually looks more like an Apple device, I think, than Apple's Magic Keyboard. But what I like about this keyboard case is that I think it gives you the best of both worlds between the previous two options. You have a magnetic mount, so the iPad is easy to install and remove. It has the full keyboard, backlit, function row, a long lasting battery source of its own. The trackpad is huge. It works very well. It accepts the touch gestures, just like any other keyboard would. And rather than a switch to turn on this keyboard case, I love that it actually uses a button. So it really feels more like using a laptop. Now, something else I wanna mention about these Bluetooth cases is that once you pair them with your device, when you turn them on, they are like instantly synced with your iPad. I know Apple's Magic Keyboard boasts this instant on technology, but literally with all three of these keyboards, once they're paired in your Bluetooth menu and you've turned them on, they are on and working. There really isn't any lag time. So at no point do I feel like I'm getting a lesser experience by not using Apple's dedicated device. And I think it's important to add that all three of these keyboard cases together totaled like the same or a little bit less than Apple's Magic Keyboard, which I think is saying something. So I hope this video has shown you some essential accessories you may want to consider. I know I don't have that many extra items for my iPad because I don't think you need them. I think an Apple Pencil, a screen protector, and a good case will take you a long way. And for me, I like having two cases. The folio and the keyboard case gives me all of the functionality I need. So let me know in the comments what you think about these accessories, which keyboard case you like the best. And if you think I'm missing any iPad accessories, let me know about it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.